All right, we've got the spread deployed in my front yard. Uh, we haven't seen anything yet, but we t anticipate a flight at any minute, so let's hurry. Um, I'm gonna run over on the board again with you so you make sure you understand, because out here it's hard to see the line. Remember, we started here. We start at the end of the run. Wait it if you think, if you've got a steady wind, you can let your tails fly, but uh, that's kind of a dangerous endeavor. But if you've got a solid wind that you know is gonna be northwest all day at 12 miles an hour, let your tails float around. Otherwise, pin them down. So you're going to deploy, start your line, start putting decoys on immediately. As you step out, as you pull it, remember your boatman's got decoys, he's adding to the string. You're just walking along, just like this. You're dragging these decoys, but you let your first decoy that hits the water hit here first. Now you're pulling the line and, and the second decoy would be this one, the third decoy deployed would be this one. You're not dragging them this way, so you're walking backwards. Here's the pattern again. You can use any pattern that you want to. We like this one because of the ability to do what we said, to take these decoys out and make your line. Don't try to make the line, don't try to make your hole while you're deploying. Just go snap a few decoys off. So you're gonna go like this. Every X is a weight that we, we put on the line. So remember that. They're easy and fast to put on. You're not tying things on or anything like that. You're just snapping on uh, about a one or two pound weight. Might be a five pounder if you're in heavy current. <clears throat> but I think probably a three pounder would handle just about anything because remember the weight is cumulative as you go through the spread. So that's what it looks like. Now we'll show you on the line. When you're ready to take up, remember you put out a few extra decoys here just to make the spread look good. If they're in your way, they must be taken up first. And it doesn't take very many. If they're out here and you've got a couple like this and your boat, your take up boat is right here, they're not in the way, leave them, leave them. Uh, and you can pick them up at the end. But you're gonna put out in this direction. You're gonna pick, take this line and start cranking. Let me show you just how fast you can pull up 100 decoys. Okay, folks, this is real time. We're gonna pull up four dozen decoys. That quick. First of all, we'll get our, our, our unhook decoys out of the way. Now it's time for the process to start. Remember, start where you stopped. That's where you want to go. where that third person comes in handy. He's taking these uh, undeployed decoys and snapping them on a line somewhere, a storage line. Also, it's a whole lot easier in the water than on the ground. Too. Yeah, we're dragging weights and decoys right now, but you can imagine in water it's almost effortless. Also, your spool, of course, will be more stable when it's in a pen on your boat. Got a hole in the ground. <laughs> There you have it. I don't know that it's probably, what, about two minutes? Uh, we'll run a clock on it, but you can see it's pretty fast. You can do about 150 decoys in probably four or five minutes. Um, we hope it helps. Um, if y'all got some pointers that you want to throw back at us, we're always here to learn. Hope it helps.
Thanks for watching our little redneck video. <laughs> this has been a production of uh, Stepladder Video. Rocco here, here, come, come here. Look at the dolphins right out front of you. Record. It is December 12, 2009, Hunt Lake Oak County. Uh, we had a pretty good day. We got seven, seven reds, seven reds, seven reds, one blue bill, and four Canadians. This is just about as good as it gets. Especially in Georgia. Yeah. Me and Larry, and Lacey, and Jim, and Luke. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, it was just a fantastic day. It went from daylight till long. And, uh, it uh, it was fun. <laughs> Luke's buddy. Thank you.